Hello people, this is Christian and you are welcome back to the Dunhub channel. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can build a simple traffic light system. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the component assembling and also the implementation of the code. Okay, so for this and more, kindly click on the subscribe button if you haven't and join us. Okay, so let's start so here i have a road okay so it's a four-way road but these two roads are actually the main road and the top and one the top and down one is the joint road okay so starting with everything this is how it's going to be okay so let's see how if the light here is uh, the traffic light here is the green light is on and this one to the green light is on how it's going to be okay so when the green light of the main traffic light is on, the cars coming from here can either go straight or go upwards, okay? And the cars coming from this side can go either straight or downwards, all right? So if you are a car coming from here and you want to go this side, then you probably have to go here and take a U-turn and then come back, all right? And same implies if you are a car coming from here, you can't go this way you have to go straight and then go for a u-turn and then now come this way okay so this is just a simple one later on in some of our future videos we are going to implement the advanced one okay there whereby you can just move from here and then go downwards or move from here and then go upwards okay but for now let's stick with the simple one so this is how it's going to be and what if the car the green lights at the top here is on yeah so when the green light at the top here is on means the cars coming from the either sides okay has to be stopped okay so that only the top cars can move okay the cars coming from the top road can move so they can either go this way or go the other way downwards or go this way okay so cars coming from here can go either ways right since they are only they are they are only the road that is going to be allowed to move at that time okay and when all the other lights are on uh, red lights are on except the down here the cars coming from here can go here straight or the other way around okay so basically this is how it's going to be all right so starting from the main road the two cars can go either ways straight or and then this one can go either straight or down and when the green light of this one is on it can go down this side or the other side okay same implies to this one also so getting the clear picture of how it's going to be let's quickly jump into the components assembling all right so i have my proteus open and i'm just going to go to new project so this project i'm going to name it traffic light okay or just a traffic traffic and let's call light okay and i'm going to press or i'm going to click on next 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 all right so we can now start we will need two devices okay so the first one is going to be the arduino board and then the next one is going to be our traffic light so i'll go to p and click on it and down here I'll click on Arduino or you can just search Arduino here okay and I'm going to choose Arduino Uno okay then I'm going to go back press on P and then I'm going to select traffic light okay or I'm going to search for traffic light so traffic light I'm going to click on OK. So now let's bring our components here. So I'll click on Arduino, bring it here. Now click on the traffic light, bring it this way. Okay, let me bring the Arduino board this way. So let me adjust it here. Let me bring the traffic light here. So I'm going to need uh, four traffic lights. Okay, so one at the top here another one here and then one here okay 
and let me try and rotate this one I'll rotate it clockwise and this one I'll rotate it 180 okay and this one I'll rotate it anti-clockwise all right so now we have to connect our traffic lights to our Arduino board okay so I'm just going to zoom in I'll go to terminal modes I'm going to pick my output okay so output and I'm going to start from here so let me just zoom in so we're going to need 12 pins okay each of the traffic light pins that is three if each traffic light has three uh, pins okay so I'm going to start here we are going to need 12 okay so let's quickly do that okay so let me connect these ones good oops okay let me quickly connect them good oh no connect it to this one now let's continue Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So we started from zero. So we are going to end at eleven. I think. Yeah. So I'm going to delete this one, and now I'm going to select the input pin. Okay. So when I come here, input pin. Okay, let me adjust the view. Okay. So now let me rotate it anti clockwise. Good. Let me just go to copy to clipboard and paste it. So I'm going to paste it here. So paste from clipboard. Good. I'm going to do another one for this one. So paste from clipboard. Good. Now I'll connect the three of them. Okay good and here too i'm going to do same just rotate it 90 degrees sorry 180 and let me copy to clipboard just copy paste. Oh, no. right click paste here good let me do same for here yes <laughs> good so now let's connect them and here click one now let's move upwards so you come here good yeah yeah there won't be the need for us to do a lot of work here so let's quickly connect it and then here we go good good let me come here and now i will now rotate this one clockwise uh, copy to clipboard this from clipboard so good clipboard good and now let me connect them right i think we are good to go now nope so now we have to label the input pins to match the output pins okay so the first three is going to be for this one so i just double click on it and say f0 mm f1 and then f2 okay and then let's see s1 or s3 s3 for second okay s4 and then s5 okay and then the next one third let's see t6 okay the next one is T7, T8, and then let's see the last one. Mm, let's use okay, what? Fourth, we already have F, so let's see um, Z, Z9. Okay, it doesn't matter the name, you can give it any label you want. Okay, so Z10, um, and last one z11 okay if 
you are going to connect f1 f0 f1 f2 to the first traffic light okay let me bring it here so we are going to start with this one s yes. sorry f0 f1 and then f2 okay so now let's go up do the same for this one so always the rest starts first okay so f no s three okay s four and then s five okay now let's move to the third traffic light here and let's start with the red one okay let me control okay you will let's start um i wanted to change something but it's fine so t where did we end at six okay and then T seven and then T eight T eight okay so now let's see oh I made a mistake here so here's supposed to be S um, five yeah so now let's move on to the last one which is going to be Z Z9 Z10 and last one oops when it happens that we just have to click on the escape key so Z11 great so we've been able to assemble it it's just simple right <laughs> So this is how it's going to look like. Let me zoom out. Okay. So we are now going to write a code for the Arduino. So we write a code and then the Arduino will execute the instructions of the code. Okay. I know I will actually do a, a separate video on explaining how to work with the Arduino and everything for you guys. Okay. So you can watch out for that one. And before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button turn on your notification if you haven't because it's going to be an interesting one okay so i'm going to take you through a lot of things but for now just take it me okay and then so now we will now switch to our code implementation okay 